Even though 2021 was not as bad as 2020, it has been described by investment analysts as a tough year for the global economy with uncertainty mainly over when the COVID-19 pandemic was going to end. This was because the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic posed a major disruption to economic activity across the world. Fast forward to 2022, and Ghana, in addition to the lingering pandemic, has to deal with the impact of Russia's war in Ukraine, a situation that has further disrupted Ghana's promising recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic. This has led to a myriad of issues, including an increasing level of hardship among the populace, continuous increase in the inflation rate, rising debt situation, sharp local currency depreciation, and recently, two downgrades by two international ratings agencies. This has also seen investors moving their funds from traditional mutual funds and other locally issued investments into safer investment vehicles like government treasury bills and bonds. Kojoa Diamonds is the group chief executive officer of Data Bank, and he breaks down why local and international investors will opt for such safe havens. People are actually, yes, moving money away from our traditional mutual funds accounts, um, in, not, not at the retail level as much, but at the corporate level. So institutional investors is, is where we are seeing most of the movement. Um, we are not seeing it that much uh, at the retail level, precisely because, you know, at retail, um, there's flexibility, it's more short-termism. Um, so people think, you know, moving it into a three-year bond locks them too long. But if you have a pension fund, if you have a trustee uh, and a fund manager who are looking at a 10-year horizon, then naturally um, they 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 it's it's only it's only rational. I mean, as we say in economics, and we are all rational um, beings, it's only rational that they will be moving the money into the higher yields, um, albeit longer, longer terms. Government of Ghana bonds, for example which brought in low yields during some part of last year, have rallied in recent months. At the beginning of 2022, the yields for these bonds ranged between 19 and 20 percent, but they are currently hitting 30 percent. Kujua Diamensa explains again the impact that the situation will have on government and businesses in the country. When people are buying bonds or T-bills, they're actually lending money to government. So government needs the money. So the implication, but the implication for government is that they are now borrowing at much, much higher rates. Just a year ago, not long ago, government was borrowing a 91-day table at 12 or 30. Today, they are borrowing it at 26, 27. That, that is high. That means that the future um, repayment is, is high. It's, 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 it's not good for, for government to be borrowing at such a high rate, but the situation demands right now that they borrow. Now, it was the implication for, for business, for, for uh, um, businesses that, especially businesses that borrow. You know what's going to happen? I'm a bank. Let's say I'm a bank. So Natalie Bank um, Limited, eh? you, 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 you have um, deposits that you need to figure out what to do with it. You have two options. Either you lend the money to government or you lend it to a businessman. Okay. The businessman comes with risk, comes with, you know, all this collateral, blah, 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 blah. The implication is that the bank is unlikely at such high yielding government of Ghana rates. The, gov the, the, the bank is unlikely to be willing to lend to business because they're going to lend to um, so, so and so business um, enterprise at what, 35, 36. When I can lend to government at 30, supposedly, in quote, supposedly risk free. So the implication is that, I mean, it's something we've been reading in economics since I was in O level. I mean, we are crowding out the, 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 the private sector. And this, this, the situation we find ourselves right now is real crowding out of private sector.